Hello, I'm Shani Ulmana from Cape Mokigali and I'm going to tell you more findings about each story. Um, for the first story, first story is grief and protest follow shooting uh, of a teenager from the New York Times. The second story is great for you food labeling your shooting from the Walmart report. And the third story is vicious assault shakes Texas town from the New York Times. Let's start with uh, the first part, which is independent versus self-interested. On the first story, which is grief and protest follow shooting of a teenager, the person who were writing or reporting the story are independent. This is because they are talking about the death of a teenager Michael Brown when the officer shoot Mr. Brown. This shows that they are no self-interest at stake in the story. On the second story, great for you for to label and uh, the person were reporting the story self-interested because it's where they are going to gain interest uh, or benefit in the story. On the third story, the person who are writing this story are independent because they are talking about what happened in the community where they don't have any self-interests. Let's go on the second part, which is multiple sources versus one source. Information in the story one, information in this story are from one source. This is because uh, there are no other opinions from other sources where we should compare and see which sources provided fair information. For the second article, information from this story are from one source also. This is because they used one source to report the story to the audience. And the third story, information are from multiple sources because it shows where facts and opinions from different people. Let's go on the third part, which is verifies versus assets. On the first story, there are real evidence in the story because the source made claims that shows that our evidence. In addition, uh, they used different interviews conducted after the death of Mr. Brown. And for the second story, there are real evidence in the story because they showed uh, what they were talking about in the report by showing people moving around and shopping for great value products in Walmart. And for the third story, there are real evidence also because they are talking about the video shared or raped girl and the testimony of the people, which is the thing shows that the information. Is. Let's go on the fourth part, which is authoritative and informed versus uninformed. For the first story, the source in, in the article is authoritative and informed. This is because they demonstrate expertise about the subject matter, where everyone can be able to understand what happened and what's going on at the time or case because they are, it, 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 they, there's a specific topic presented. For the second story, the source in, in this article is authoritative and informed because it demonstrates the subject matter where there is a subject to present it in this story. In the third story, the source in the article is also authoritative and informed because there is a topic presented and it's where they may debate about it and share their opinions about it. Let's go to the last part, which is uh, named versus unnamed. In this story, information are from the named source. And for the second uh, story, the information also uh, are, are from the named sources. This is because it's known and credible. For the third source, information are from named source because this source is also known all over the world. So, uh, this, the, each story passed the IMVIN test because uh, most of the criteria on the 
credibility and the validity rate of each source has to Thank you very much.